He's a five-time Grammy nominee, a producer for the popular Philadelphia group The Roots, a hip-hop artist, and now he's lending his talents to the stage, a production that's near and dear to his heart. Joining me now is the one and only Dice Raw. My man, good to see you. Good to see you, too. Good you. to see you. I heard just before the show that I knew you before you were you. Yeah. Give me, tell me a little background on well, that. Well, one day we were walking down the street, me and my mother, and she saw you, and she got so excited. She said, wait, stop. <laughs> she said, it's Yuki. And she ran up to you, and you stopped. You said, oh, hello. You, you know, were very nice, and you shook my hand. I, I think you might even give her an autograph. I, are you, how old she, were you then? I was about 10 years old. I was 16. <laughs> my, know, man, right. <laughs> my man. But this man's passion is to break the cycle of young African-American men going to prison. Why is that so important to you? Well, I mean, for starters, I'm an African-American male. Mm -hmm. I, you know, mm -hmm. I grew up in North Philly, born and raised. Um, and I've seen so many of my friends just go in and out of the uh, the judicial system. Mm. And um, I mean, sometimes it, they were guilty, but a lot of times they weren't. Um, mm -hmm. A lot of times the crimes are so small and um, they're, they're in the, their crimes are small compared to the jail time that they get. And mm -hmm. um, I mean, that, that's a big problem. And uh, the privatized prison industrial complex is really just unraveling the fabric of American culture. How can you help? What do you want to do? Well, I mean, what I'm starting to do is just use my creative talents to raise awareness about what's going on, not only uh, in um, just uh, society, mm -hmm. but in the hip hop community as well. Um, You've done a play, right? I'm doing a musical. And it's called The Last Jimmy. Tell us about that. Well, The Last Jimmy takes place in a courtroom setting. Uh, it's basically the last African American to be trialed and takes place in the near future. Um, mm -hmm. And, and it's the word Jimmy plays off of? Jim Crow. Jim Crow, okay. Yeah, the Jim Crow laws, right. Jim Crow, the new Jim Crow, which mm -hmm. was a book mm -hmm. written by Dr. Michelle Alexander, uh, which really inspired me to do this play and do the album. And uh, it really, you know, what she says in her book, it just really opened, uh, opened my mind, opened mm -hmm. my eyes to what was going on, which was right in front of me. Right, sure. That I just sure. didn't notice, but the way that she words and the way she puts it really, um, really made sense to me. Sure, you've had quite a career, young man. Give me some of your highlights real quick before we go. Well, you know, uh, I've been working with The Roots for a long time. I worked with Jill Scott. I worked with uh, John Legend. I worked with uh, Chrisette Michelle, Wale, uh, Young Jeezy on his last record. Wow. And, um, you know, born and raised here in Philadelphia, and that's why we're doing a play here in Philadelphia. Premieres uh, the 24th and 25th at Freedom Theater. So hopefully everybody comes out and check it out. And there's a mission behind that play and what you're doing, correct? Yes, sir. It's, you know, the poll play is a mission statement. It's a protest piece. Uh, you know, I've partnered up with uh, Rennie Harris mm. from Pure Movement, who's a Philadelphia legend in uh, creative, creative performing arts world. I've also hooked up with Phil S. Brown, who is a creative director over at Shipley uh, Private School. Very and he nice. also worked for Disney as well. So, I mean, a lot of people in the community have really come together, as well as Freedom Theater, uh, Miss Sandra, and Miss Gale over yes, there. Yes, indeed. You Special know, people. Got to give them a shout out. Indeed, indeed. <laughs> and because, you know, they thought that was so important and they wanted to support it and present it. Great seeing you when you were 10. Great seeing you now. Thank you. You keep My having man. me. Keep doing your thing. I keep will. doing your thing. See, The Last Jimmy, this Friday and Saturday, October 24th and 25th at the Freedom Theater. Tickets are $30. Let's get your forecast now with Kate.